Hola mis conejitos, como estas mi amulicia? Hello my bunnies, how are you? My name is Allison and today we are playing Infected, the twin vaccine. I'm actually super excited about this. Oh, feels like I haven't played this game in forever, but I know it's been a week. <laughs> so I realized I haven't been reading the journal entries. Let us actually start from the beginning since that is pretty much where everything started um of course I will go ahead and put in the newspaper piece that I had missed at the beginning of the game which is why my mouse is m moving like this because I know my mouse is going to be hidden by the newspaper so all right so let's see where do we start Teresa Morrissey missing since the evacuation of Oxford City the only one showing immunity to the virus that continues to spread I must find her. CAA certified award of excellence in the field of microbiology research, one of the greatest accomplishments in my professional career. I am now an official epidemic intelligence service officer, or threat detective as some like to call it. Nice, nicely, nicely put. Someone else is here? And by the sounds of things, he's after Teresa too. What does he want with her? He didn't seem the too pleased to see me. I better approach him with caution. He could be a threat. Sort of. Morrissey Ranch, Teresa's grandfather's barn. David Morrissey spent most of, most of his days maintaining crops and running the maintenance yard for tractor trailers and other vehicles. Oh! Well, that explains the vehicles that we found. He was filed as missing shortly after the evacuation. The woman in these videos is Teresa's aunt Jan. The phone must belong to her fiance Adam Geddes. Although heartbreaking, these videos are a great documentation of the virus's progress and how quickly it takes over. Nausea, high fever, fatigue, hyperventilation, followed by a simultaneous brain aneurysm seizure. It's still horrifying every time I see it. I bet. Humans aren't the only ones being affected by the virus. Birds are falling from the sky. A bad omen? Maybe, but a sure sign that the virus won't have trouble spreading to the rest of the world if we don't come with a vaccine soon. A pre-recorded dispatch message on loop continues to play in the tractor yard. I remember reading about animal carcasses covering the highway shortly before they started quarantining the area and closing all of the exits and, and off ramps. Businesses all over the world suffered. Uh, suffered? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they're still suffering. They're still surveying the area, looking for survivors. They know I'm here, and I'm not leaving until I find Teresa. We've analyzed several mammals of the, at the lab. We've yet to test the immunity of bees and hornets. I'll need to keep this sample contained to analyze later. If this little guy has, some, has come in contact with the virus and survived, he may prove useful in my research. Oh, I think I get it. It is the water. Oops, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, well, we're about to find out anyways. Boil order in effect for the entire city. Yeah, we read this. Or at least I did. Um, I don't know if I read it aloud to you guys. But, uh, it's basically what it says in the title. What you're, what you're supposed to do is boil water for a certain amount of time. And then cool it down. Yeah, should be brought to a roiling boil for one minute and then be allowed to cool for use. Which makes sense, because boiling water uh, gets rid of all the chemicals and the bacteria and all that stuff. Another survivor. That definitely wasn't the same guy I ran into earlier. His face wasn't covered up at all. Is he immune like Teresa? If he survived this long, I'm sure we'll cross paths again eventually. After returning from the twins' birth birthday party, I knew something was wrong with me. I'm not sure what it is or where it come. Oh, that's the letter that we found on her grandpa. Well, that explains the disappearance of Gra Teresa's grandfather. By the sounds of things, he may have contacted the virus at the twins' birthday party. Okay. David Morrissey's digital camera looks like photos from Tiffany and Teresa's birthday party, followed by more great visual documentation of the side effects shown on the outside of the body. Looks like an outbreak of hives and lesions starting on the arms, eventually working their way up to the neck and head as the virus spreads. 
not long after that, it completely takes over. So how many pieces are there? Okay, so it stops at 28. Interesting. Well, that was a lot of reading. Okay, so we need to get that T, but we can't quite reach it. It looks like we're missing um, a piece of whatever these are. Who are you? Oh, you're the guy on the photo. Oh, hey, you from the barn, right? You scared the boots off me earlier. Sorry for being a schmuck and running away like that, but can't be too careful these days. Right. What are you, a doctor? Certainly. <laughs> so certainly sort of. You stare out with them fancy gloves. That big old fella with the mask just headed downtown. Didn't look too pleased. That your fault, is it? <laughs> and the two of you are the first signs of life I've seen in days. I don't like your posture. It was just me and that little girl left in this rotten place. I warned people this kind of thing was coming. So, the little girl is immune, is she? I figured as much. Are we talking to them and Me? not know, not knowing <laughs> no, it? No, no, I'm not. I just don't have much contact with people anymore, and I uh, try to stay away from the water. <laughs> Never liked it anyway. The only food that's safe He's to eat anymore. He's pretty much implying that the water is infected. Vending machines, and those things are impenetrable. Tell you what, if you find me something safe to eat, I'll help you get into that shop down the street. I'm willing to bet they've got something in there that'll help you defend yourself against that heavy breathing you-know-who. Uh-huh. Oh, another entry. The homeless man has managed to avoid contracting the virus. Incredible. His immune system has definitely been put through its paces living in the, on the street without proper antiseptics. Though it's more likely that his lack of contact with the public and his paranoia is what's kept him healthy. No, sh no shoot, Sherlock. Uh, notice how I did says shoot. Click here to use the coins you've collected. Cool. Uh, well, we need to put the three back on here. There we go. And we only have three coins, which um is unfortunate because we don't have anything for the that's worth three coins. How many coins do we need then? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look, bird seed. So, chips. Yeah, it looks like chips might be the only thing safe for him. Alrighty then. We need one more coin. Uh,. Looks like we can go down that way. Oh, hey! We have the P. But we need the T. Oh, we saw the T earlier! Let's actually... Oh, what's over here? Ha! Huh. Car photo. Okay. Don's pawn shop. And we need a code. Right, yeah. Alrighty, Dighty then. And what is down here? Ooh, we got a coin! And it looks like we can interact with this. I'll need something bigger than that old garden hose to put out that fire. Okay, so we do need to put out the fire. And it looks like we got one more coin, which is awesome. We can now get something at that vending machine. Let's go over here. It's all Teresa Morrissey's fault. Not entirely. Not entirely. Looks like something is jammed up in that vent. Uh, Mr. Eisenhower, after several warnings, we've been forced to cut the power from your apartment. Please stop tampering with your meter. We will refuse your service. We will refuse service until you've reset your dials to correctly match your last bill. Alright then, that means we need to find his last bill so that we can... 
uh, move the dials in the proper spots. Locked. Teresa's aunt lived in the apartments back there. Oh! Okay. Well. That makes sense. Alright then. So, where is the slot? Right there. One. Two. Three. And four. Oh, right, because we need to figure out the number. Uh, seven, three. So it would be 23, 26, 29, plus 3, that would be 32, plus 3, that would be 35. Booyah! Uh, Prepackaged, vacuum sealed food has been a blessing in disguise. What is often considered to be unhealthy junk food is now probably the only safe thing to eat in the city. Probably. Uh, shops all over town rush to break, even selling their entire stock at huge discounted rates. The day of the evacuation it was chaos. Several shops were robbed and public vandalism ran rampant. Wow. The city suffered greatly during its final days. This accident likely occurred while people were rushing to catch the first trains out of here at Oxford Station. I have a feeling these flames may be another sign from that man in the gas mask trying to keep me at bay. Looks like somebody didn't pay their power bill. I wonder if there's an old power bill lying around somewhere that might help me set these dials back and restore the power to this building. And it looks like there may have been others who blame Teresa for what's happened to the city of Oxford. Why do people always need somebody to blame these days? No clue. But we do have chips to give to the men. Uh. Hey, you pulled through. Eating like a king tonight, I tell you. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, all oh, right. The door code for the shop. Yes, please. Seven, four, one, seven. Uh, or is it seven one four seven? Uh, never been too good with numbers, admittedly. But I think that's the right one. One of the two ought to do the trick. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I don't like that guy. I think it's just because his appearance and the way he talks is just not what I'm used to. Booyah! 7147 is the correct code. And it looks like we got a hidden objects. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so we need... I w wonder if I can pry open this crate somehow. Okay, so we need to turn this TV on somehow. Okay, so we got that. There's a pipe. Bulb is broken, can't wait, quite reach it. Uh, there's a ladder. Uh, blowtorch. What do I use the blowtorch on? Um, fluorescent bulb. Perfect. A child's drawing of a burning house. Which is unfortunate. That was a really cute drawing. Alright, so we put this fire out. And we collect this. Alrighty, Dighty. Um, here. Okay, it's still missing a few parts. Alright, so what are we missing? Uh, we got. Oh, we need the VC VCR. There's a VCR. So we put that here, but I guess we still need a few more things, huh? 
Oh yeah, video cables. Um, we need a pickaxe, video cables, crossbow, hairpin, and nail puller. Alright, so... Got it, got the pickaxe. This should... Okay, that doesn't help. Oh, I did not see that. Uh, video cable... There we go. I'm coming to you live from Oxford, where house fire is currently roaring out of control. As, uh -oh. as you hear, the fire department is on their way. While the cause of the fire is still unknown, neighbors think that the fire may have been deliberately set. One resident, who prefers to remain anonymous, reported a disturbance after hearing yelling and screaming coming from outside the house. Only moments later, the house was ablaze. Uh, we have no official statement yet from authorities, but it looks like it may be a case of arson. No word yet on injuries or casualties. We will bring you continued coverage as the story progresses right here live and on location. This must have been right. Oh, this must have been right before. Uh. This must have been. This must have been right before. Things went haywire on the virus. Oh, duh! Pickaxe wall. And we use a hairpin on the lock. And we get a crowbar. Awesome. What's in here? Ooh, a crossbow. Wait, that's the one thing we pick up? Okay. Alright, that's weird. Um. Unfortunately, I do not remember what happens next. Uh, okay. One of these numbers should help me get into the shop downtown. A child's drawing of a house fire. My daddy did this. Could this possibly be evidence for something? A news report of a house fire. That was Teresa's house in the video. It was never officially ruled as arson, but between the child's drawing and this VHS recording, Danny, the shop's owner, may be guilty of burning down the, the Morrissey house. Perhaps he lost a loved one to the virus and blamed Tiffany and Teresa. Oh... That sucks. That sucks. Alright, and I don't remember what I'm supposed to be using the crossbow for. Maybe this? No. What do I do? Oh! I did not know that was a possibility. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so I find all the pieces of power bill. Piece, 12 pieces. There's 12 pieces. Yeah, now I'm remembering this. This was a super hard puzzle to do. Everything is in, like, really hidden. Gotta, like, it's basically clicking blindly. But you gotta keep an eye out for what doesn't look right. Whoops! Go back. So we need two more pieces. I forgot where the last two are. There's one. Um, no, come on. There it is. Awesome. And now we got to put all these pieces of paper together. Ooh, Oxford Power. Oh, hey, this is the letter that we were looking for. Awesome. All right, cool. And once it's in place... You can't take it out. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so this goes... Okay, that's locked into place. That's locked into place. And there. There we go. Okay. Seriously? Here we go. There we go. Okay, so the digits are zero, one, four, five, seven, and three. Now this puzzle with the power bill, not the jigsaw one that we just did. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> we go over here and we click on this. All right, click and drag your mouse to rotate each dial to the correct position. Click reset to return the dials to their default position. And up here we have a skip button optional. I actually have had trouble with this puzzle. And um, considering where we are in the video, I, whatever happens after we're done with this puzzle, I think we're going to stop here. So let's see. All right, so that turns with the second one that turns it's not on key though uh, excuse me uh, let's do this and So what I've had trouble with is this piece here and this piece here because um, cause if you noticed the first one moves in moves along with the last one. So let me try moving this here. This to three. And what if um so wait if it's on three and this is one then it's two behind uh Which means, since this needs to be on three, this needs to go on one. So then, awesome. And since this goes in time with that, I need to... Friggy doodles. Okay. Um... What if so this is one ahead? Uh, that needs to, which means this is one behind. So, what if I did this? No, let's move it back to four. Or sorry, back to three. It I need to move it one, two, three. Um, let's move it like this. How would that would that work? Awesome. Okay. Alright, 
I seriously can't take any more. I really thought I would have it by now, and I don't. Oh, this sucks. I tried my best, everyone. I just, I can't get it. You probably, you probably can see it, and I don't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know, though, it has to do with these two right here. It really, really frustrates me, because it's the only one... Like, each one only moves two at a time. And once I touch this one, it's going to move this. I can't do that. Ah, oh, I can't figure it out. I'm really sorry, guys, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to skip the puzzle. I think that's the only time I ever have... I only ever skip the puzzle. Yes, we got the ladder pole. I know what to do with that. You're gonna put that there. Booyah. We got the letter T. We could put that there. Booyah! Gate key. Nice music. And voila! Ooh, cutscene! Pull out the crossbow. No more chances. Pull out the crossbow. Right here, right now. Pull out the crossbow. Seriously, you're going to faint? Like what, a nuclear bomb? <gasps> She's still alive! Hi! No! Come back! Ah. Oh. The man in the mask claims Teresa is still alive and he's definitely after her himself. What does he want with her? I feel like I'm getting close. It's Teresa. Looks like she's get taken shelter in her Aunt jo Jane's apartment building. The stairs are completely blocked off. I'll need to find another way inside from the ground level. Well, yeah, that's o that's obvious. I'm surprised the rain hasn't uh, dried, dried out the fire. Unfortunately, guys, this is actually where I have to stop. Oi, they. This is intense. This is definitely, definitely intense. So, I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! What an intense game. I really love it. It's so weird that the people who p placed reviews on it found it too short. I mean, I understand why, I just... They're not used to playing Nancy Drew games, are they? 